Hey everyone, I am at my squash patch, half of this year's breeding project in relationship with the squash bug. These squash were planted uh, about 60 days ago, May 15th, and last week Eni and I came and removed all of the lumber wraps that we suppressed the weeds with. And this started off as an old pasture, which was now grass and has been mowed for many years. So it's been pretty amazing to witness just how effective that tarping was. Um, all the weeds are pretty well suppressed. So the squash have a great opportunity to root at the nodes as they go, which this these Moshada like to do, which uh, increases their chance of remaining vigorous even amidst squash bug attacks. And the squash bugs are attacking, just like we, we know them to do. They uh, they do tend to uh, push back the vigor of plants and even kill them outright. So this is the great example of what the squash bugs do. You can see that they've completely eaten the leaf. And I'm guessing if I lift that up, we're gonna even see, yep, a lot of the little blue um, young ones. So let's see if I can get a little image of that. Yeah, so we clearly have the subject that we are breeding in relationship with. And this is a Tycane cob squash, one of the first out of the gates. Very vigorous. Um, and you can see, you know, it is looking a little bit hit. So we've got some of these drooping leaves. Some of the nutrients might have been uh, stopped from getting down into the plant via that squash bug predation on the nutrient dispersal. Um, as we look around, you can see in the yellowing of the leaves, some of the spots where the squash bug has been hitting. But overall, I think this, the plants are looking pretty vigor, vigorous. This is another Thai king cob, and you can see the difference from plant to plant, right? Side by side with that one. And as we step into the patch, we have uh, some plants that are pretty far along. Here's some fruits, 60 days in. So you can see this guy here, little fruit over here. Oh, there it is. And um, a lot of fruit setting right now. And just coming today to monitor how the plants are doing, witness any extreme predation and resilience in the face of it. So this one here, I think this is uh, an Ozark cheese that has been grown in the Ozarks for a few years. This row also looks pretty good. It has been getting hit, but it is resilient in the face of it. Um, there are a couple fruits that are even further along and they are a loft house variety. Um, there they are. And these came out oddly enough even before any male flowers had come out. So we'll see if they have seeds or, or what happens there. They were so early. Let's see what else we have going on. A lot of vigor, some stress from the squash bugs like this. I would call that pretty extreme stress. And the plant, though, is continuing. A little light green. This one has a bit of the, the wilt and the heat stress. So overall, I think the plot is looking very good. We are getting some extreme vigor. And some of the plants aren't showing any uh, wilt from the squash bugs at all. That one is. This is a allure of seminal pumpkins that I crossed last year with Thai King Cobb and Cheese. And... Rancho Marquez, doing great. So this is just a little um, 60 days, two months in update on the squash grant, mid-season.